hi my beautiful libra welcome to my channel goddess of light 11 11 if you are new to my channel welcome if you are returning subscribers welcome back this reading is for libra sun moon rising venus and jupiter thank you god thank you universe universal energies ancestors very guy archangels ascended masters please give my lovely libra a clear precise honest message for the highest good all right libra if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe the like button and the notification bell below and if you are returning subscribers welcome back i do appreciate each and every one of you that have been supporting my channel and i'm sending lots of love blessing and prosperity your way all right libra let's see let's see let's see So we have flexibility so you have um there's a situation that's coming towards you guys so in the back we have fle flexibility so you you guys need to be a little bit more flexible on your time your energy i feel like how you spend your time how you you know what i'm saying when it's come to having a relationship and stuff you know you need to be a little bit more flexible on what you want message for libra spirit message for libra wow okay so we have the yen energies that's beautiful for you guys are in your yen energy and the feminine energy very attractive very sexy um you know and very aligned with yourself when it's come to your feminine energy you are uh, very much in your power very intuitive that's what i'm feeling here for you guys you guys are very much a balance and stuff like that for some of you there's need to balance your your feminine and the masculine energy because you know it's not good to be in uh, masculine energy so we have unfinished symphony so i feel like there's a situation and stuff like that you know that's continuing keep going is that we're playing the same song over and over but i feel like the situation is coming to an end it's a number 10 and stuff like that there was finally you guys be able to balance out your energy because i feel like this is coming to an end whatever this is you guys was going through that's gone over and over you know is that like you hear the same thing i'm going to change for some of you it's like i'm going to change i'm going to be better but you keep hearing the same thing over and over so it's finally you guys take a step you know take a step up and stuff like that and be and start balancing out your energy and finally you guys put your foot down i'm i'm hearing you guys put your foot down and things start changing for you guys because you guys bring justice you are justice so the universe will always making sure that you know you got justice in this situation especially if you are not in the wrong libra that's what i'm feeling here for you guys so yes so we have tick tock wow okay so i'm feeling like divine timing is at place the you have a major decision to make libra time is at the essence you know time uh, you might want to feel like time is running out if you don't take action if you don't make some type of decision but the universe is telling you yeah time you know time is ticking so you need to take action soon before you lose it or before whomever you are dealing with before this end and stuff like that you need to take action and make some type of decision here so mending so there's a relationship and stuff I feel you got want some type of justice for so you guys could be dealing with someone you have dealt with from the past with demanding here and stuff like that there could be someone from your past we have number 52 here that is a seven so there could be someone from your past that want to reconcile with you that wants to be with you but i felt like time is running out when it's come to this um reconciliation or when it's come to this person all right let's see what they want to say to you libra so we have let your friends help you ask and accept support from others so spirit say here uh, libra talk to your friend ask them question have them you know what i'm saying you know don't listen to people that's going to lead you astray but i feel like you have friends and stuff like that that you can ask advice so you can ask uh, for the advice what you should do and things like that so ask support if you need support if you need help from others ask it express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture 
gestures. So Spirit is telling you, that's what they say here. Time is running out into this relationship. So you guys need to, but then you have pay attention to the red flag. So the sign are cautioning you. So that's what I was feeling here. You know, time. I felt like, you know, divine timing is telling you here, this this is running out. There's something in here you need to either take action, either you take action towards to make it better or you leave it alone. But I feel like there's someone in here that is very focused. They are listening to their intuition. They are paying attention to the word flag. This is, this is almost like the, for me and stuff like that, this is someone that is very focused on, you know, getting things their way. So whoever you are dealing with, they're asking you to pay attention to the red flags, Libra. So this could be the one is at the bottom, but you guys might be reconciled with someone. I'm feeling he had to have conversation and honeymoon. So you guys might be trying to reconcile with someone, but things is not going the way it's supposed to. Things might be very hard. Spirit, show me the energy of the person Libra is dealing with. This funny thing is that your first card is the lovers. So you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or someone that is very much wants to be with you. Someone that is very much in love with you. This is someone that felt like you guys are strong bond together. You guys have a deep loving bond together in here. Someone in here might be even, you know, possibly in love with you. But the thing is that Palace of Swords is here. You might be dealing with, you know, this might be cold. There might be some type of coldness between you guys. So we have, yeah, look at that. Ten of Cups. I feel like someone wants to have a family with you. They want a relationship that's going to last. They want the, the dog, the white picket fence. They want loyalty. Felt like this person wants to be loyal to you. They, they, they will be loyal to you. They want loyalty. This is someone that is in love with you, Libra. Yeah, the death card. So you guys could be dealing with the Scorpio, but I feel like there's some type of ending. So either you're dealing with a Gemini, Virgo, or a Scorpio. But I feel like there's something that's coming to an end for no beginning and transformation. This is someone that wants to have a family with you, a long-term relationship with you. They want marriage. They, this person want marriage. They want long-term stability, joy, contentment. They want it all with you. What does this person want Libra to know? What they want Libra to know? I feel like whomever you are dealing with, this is someone that decided to move forwards. Nine of coins, they feel like things is taking too long. They felt like things is too slow and things like that. And then this person wants to move forwards with the chariot here. This is someone that wants to take the relationship to the next level, but someone decided they want to move forwards because they feel like this relationship is taking forever. So seven of swords. Um, I'm going to say Libra. Be careful because this person might be into some type of tricks. This person is planning, they're strategizing. That's what I'm feeling. He will clarify to see what is this person is strategizing about. What is this person want Libra to know? What is they want to say to Libra? What they want to say to Libra? Oh, good gracious. I'm, you know what, Libra, what I'm feeling here, this is someone that is, this is someone, this person could be a little bit toxic. You guys could have some type of comic. This could be a comic relationship between you and someone else here because I feel like you guys are bonding with this person and stuff like that. This is someone that is trying to keep you trapped. Um, that's what I'm feeling here. So this person could be a bit toxic. They, they could be possessive and obsessive. That's what I'm feeling here with the divine timing, with the will here. I feel like you have you have the right and stuff like that to make things, you know, to change things. Because I feel like this person might be a bit possessive, obsessive. That's what I'm feeling here. And we have four of cups. Yeah, they want to be with you. Yeah, they got their eye on you. Yeah, their main focus is on you. But I feel like whomever this person here, they might be they, they might be a little bit sneaky, possessive, and obsessive. That's what I'm feeling. This person is sneaky because we have the seven of swords. What are they planning? And we have the devil here. This is someone that might be, like I say, that is obsessive, possessive here. 
Ace of Wands. They want a passionate new beginning or you want a passionate new beginning with the Ten of Coins here. This is the long-term stability, marriage and stuff like that. Long-term financial stability. I'm feeling like inheritance. Someone in here want a long-term, a passionate new beginning, but they also want financial stability here. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Let's see what this person is strategizing. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Ah, so what I'm feeling here, this person, you, whomever you are dealing with, yeah, they're sneaky. They could be planning to be with someone from their past. They could be, I feel like someone in here is talking to someone from their past. It could be an Aries. It could be in, in whomever this emperor here. I feel like this, I told you this person is sneaky. They're sneaky, possessive, obsessive. They are talking to someone from their past. You definitely don't need this person, Libra. I'm telling you that right now. I'm getting out of the way for you. Let's clarify the death card. If there, if this person wants some type of ending, that's because this person could be talking to their father. They could be talking to the father of their children, someone, someone like that, someone they used to be married to, someone they have children with. That's what I'm feeling here. It doesn't have to be in Aries, but I feel like whatever this ending here with the three of cups, they want some type of reconciliation and stuff like that. This person might be seeing you, you know, they might be seeing you left out in the cold. They might be, you know, because I feel like this person might be juggling you and someone else here with the three of, because we have three of principles and three of cups. This person might be, you know, juggling you and someone else or that this is how they feel. They feel like you juggling them and someone else. But this person is very sneaky. They might talking, they are talking to someone else from, uh, from their past. Clever the devil. yeah whomever this is and stuff like that you could be dealing with the mother the mother of your child the, you know someone you know whomever libra or taurus someone in here could be pregnant but this person is toxic as that's what i'm feeling here someone that is very possessive they're obsessive possessive with the three of swords here this person could be hardworking, but they want some type of truth here you know, I feel like whomever you are dealing with, they got some type of clarity and stuff like that. If this person might know you hardworking and they really don't care, but I feel like you get some type of truth, you get some type of clarity when it's come to this person. Let's clarify the wheel, please. King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like whomever you are dealing with, they are very defensive. You could be dealing with someone that is also that you know that like a bully. Someone in here, someone in here, they they act like a, a bully. That's what I'm feeling here with the Knight of Wands. Um, you know, like I said, you could you guys could be dealing with this Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. But I feel like whomever you are dealing with and stuff like that, they are very defensive, very guarded and stuff like that. And this person could block you for whatever reason. That's what I'm feeling here. Because someone in here wants things to be their way or no way at all. That's what I'm feeling here for you. But I feel like with the divine here, with the will here and stuff like that, for you to continue to move forward, Libra. Even if they, ha they have a strong, you know, sexual desire towards you and stuff like that. I feel like you don't need to be with this person. That's what I'm feeling here. Because this person is sneaky, they're obsessive, and they are, dele they might, they are talking to someone from their past, someone they have children with. That's what I'm feeling here. But they want to have a family with you. They want to have the family dynamic, the dog, the, you know, the dog, the cats, the white picking fence, the marriage. They want it all. But I feel like this person is sneaky. Clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers, please. Clarify the lovers. Two of cups. Eight of Cups and the Four of One. Yeah, there's some type of ending between you guys. Someone in here, I feel like someone in here with the Four of Ones, this relationship is over with the Four of Ones in a reverse. 
with the eight of cups and two of cups they want they want i feel like this person want giving and receiving love with you but they're walking away they chose to walk away instead of working on the relationship i feel like this person chose to walk away instead of working on this relationship with you let's have the chariot please yeah because someone is moving on yeah page of cups eight of pentacles yeah this person is moving on even if you want to work in this relationship this person might make it i feel like someone in here might make it difficult for you but i feel like whomever you are dealing with they are trying to move on from the past they are trying to leave the past in the past i feel like this person might be focusing on you know working on the relationship or if this they see you want to work on this relationship they want to offer you some type of love but i feel like someone here might be giving you the bare minimum that's what i'm feeling here because they feel like things is taking too long things taking is just like thing is slow and stuff like that i feel like someone in here might giving you barely anything but it's not because this person doesn't love you they do love you they just doesn't know how to you know that they, 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 they doesn't know how to give love and receive love but that's what they want here so you're gonna get some type of truth and clarity and stuff like that like i say you could the empress with the ace of swords and stuff you're gonna get some type of truth some type of clarity this person is possessive they're obsessive and they're also sneaky let's clarify the ten of cups please oh they love you there's no question about that the king of cups here this person the king of cups two of cups here this person love you page of cups they do love you they wants to be with you they're just like you know yeah secret see secret secretly this person want to take a new leap of faith so don't waste your time on someone who's not i feel like secretly and stuff like that this person want to take a leap of faith they want to have some type of victory here they want to getting some type of attention they might seek this is something like they want secretly they are taking some type of new leap of faith um you might not know about this if this person is behave certain way is because they want they is because this person might want someone else and stuff that's how they behave because i feel like secretly and stuff like that they they are giving attention they might be giving attention to someone else they want to take a leap of faith with that's what you're gonna get the truth though you're gonna get the truth by the time you get the truth you might be shocking and stuff like that to what you find out but this person is too sneaky. It's not for you, Libra. That's what I'm feeling here. You deserve better. You deserve better. You deserve someone who's going to love you for you. You deserve someone that's want to be with you. The death card is at the bottom again. So you guys could be definitely dealing with the Scorpio that you have some type of commitment with. I feel like you guys might be holding on to this person or they're holding on to you because you guys have some type of commitment with each other. But I felt like this person is not the right person for you, Libra. honestly i don't want to be in a relationship right now that's exactly what i'm feeling this person behavior is that they love you but then they are choosing not to be in a relationship because they might be secretly giving attention to someone else that's what they are behaving like they don't want to be in a relationship with you i can stop thinking about you you are always in my dreams so either you thinking about this person that much or they are thinking about you that much but someone he doesn't want to be in a relationship and i feel likely why you guys might tell this person you don't want to be in a relationship also i've been depressed lately things have been really hard all right libra so you could be dealing with you know someone that is also um pregnant with the empress here i feel like someone in here might be also pregnant but i feel like this person is going to be you know whatever the ending they are caused they're also going to be hardworking. you know even if they don't say that because i felt like this person love you but they're sneaky possessive and obsessive you know the way they are they, there's a lot of cups here there's a lot of truth here but i feel like you know spirit is telling you pay attention to the red flag because this person might not be the one for you because nobody have the energy to sitting there try to work on a relationship with someone who doesn't want a relationship 
Oh, well, Libra, that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Bye, Libra.